In this session, we shall prepare two bay two story 2D frame using StatPro software. Let us go to StatPro new project plane 2 bay 2 then location. Okay, this should be in terms of meter and kilometer model as the model prepared is as per Indian standards. Next image. So this is your two bay and two story. This is one story. This is second story and bay number one, bay number two. Two bay, two story, 2D frame loaded with uniformly distributed load and concentrated load having Member properties 2i, i, 2i, i, 2i, i, and beam property i and 1.5i. In previous case, we have seen how to calculate the values of i. The value of i given there was 1010 10 to 6 mm raised to 4. In the same manner, we have to calculate the beam property that is width of the beam and depth of the beam. Now, let us go to more preparation of model. Distance is 4 meter and 5 meter. First node should be at initial point that is at origin 0, 0, 0. Now using node cursor, select a node, control C, control V, X direction 4 meter. Select the second node again, copy the node coordinates, control C, control V. Direction 5 meters. Okay, in front view. Now let us see here the story height is 3.5 meters. So I need these three nodes I have created at 0, at 4 meter, 5 meter. Same nodes are to be repeated at a distance of 3.5 meter in y direction. This is your x direction, this is y direction. Select these nodes. Either you can copy them and replicate, then connect the B member. Instead of that, I will go here for replicate. Select this one in Y direction. These B nodes are to be replicated at a distance of 3.5 meter. Apart from that, I need to connect those beam by B member. So, what I will do here, I click on link steps. Here, the they have got linked. The nodes are created at a distance of 3.5. Now, how to check whether they are created at 3.5 or not? Display node to node distance. Select this one. Check here. 3.5 meter. Now, go to add beam. We have assigned the beams here. General support supports are fixed. Create. Now we are adding fixed beam. Select this beam. Select the three nodes. Assign to number of supports are assigned. Now let us remove this dimension shown here. Go to right click. Go to labels. Uncheck this dimension. Apply. Okay. My whole dimension has gone there. Now I have. I can assign the properties or assign the loads to this member before that let us replicate another story the story height is 3.5 meter select the beam members here replicate them replicate in y direction at a distance 3.5 again link steps okay so second story also done. Now we have to assign property and we have to assign loads. Let us go to property. As we have calculated in continuous beam case, same way I will define here properties rectangle point four three by 
point two three. This is for one point five times of i. Point four seven five by point two three. This is for two times of i. And one more there was point three seven five by point two three. This is for i. Which members are i? One two three four five. All five members are of i. Select those members. Hold the control and select these numbers. Assign properties 0.23 by 0.38. Got assigned to these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. Now let us see 1.5i, 1.5i. Two members are there. Apart from that, 2i, 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 3 members. All the number properties got assigned now. Now we have to define the loads. Self loads and definition load cases add. One will be the dead load that is self weight of this frame. Add and lie load is imposed load. Add close self weight. Add this factor will be minus one. Add select this one. Assign to view. Assign with the this self weight imposed load. Select. Number load, what are the loads? 13 and 25. Minus 13, add minus 25, add. Apart from that, 13 kilo newton meter only for a span of 3 meter. Minus 13 from 0 to Apart from that, one more UDL of 15 kilo newton meter all along the length of the beam minus 15. So you can see here those loads are added here. Add one more load got added. Now concentrated force. Concentrated force 20 kilo newton and 50 kilo newton. 20 kilo newton at a distance of 3 meter, 50 kilo newton also at a distance 3 meter. 20 at a distance 3 from left support minus 50 at a distance of 3 meter from left support either you can select the beam select the load assign to selected beam as you can use select use cursor to assign assigning select the load 25 kN uniformly distributed load 25 this beam is to be applied with 25 applied next 13 kN meter where is the UDL uniformly distributed load 13 km from 0 to 3 select this one assign it here next is 15 kN meter This is also for 3 meters. No, this is for whole length of the beam. Let me change this one. Make this as 0. So, this load got assigned to whole length of the beam. So, whichever load is you are selecting, that load is shown in, B, in blue color and other loads will be shown in green color. Centrated load of 20 kN at a distance 3 meters. We are done with the application of loads. Now let us give a combination for these loads. Add either you can define here manually or you can go for auto load form. I am going for auto load combination Indian code generate only. I am considering 1.5, 1.5 that is factored load case. Loads. 
general analysis and print and if you miss this step what happens it will show errors there And we are done with the analysis. Now go to post processing for a factored load. I am seeing here. Apply. Okay. Beams, forces. This is your bending moment developed for your two story, two frame building. If you want to check shear force, this is how the shear force developed. If you want to calculate what are the support loads that is a pu at a support you can select these nodes or you can click here select this one click here what is the in fy direction the fx direction the load is a 107 kilonewton here 337 kilonewton here 228 kilonewton this is nothing but your pu using this value you can design the footings. This is a factored value that is it is showing for generated load combination. Right? Generated load combination the value is 337 kilo newton or else you can go to select these nodes report support reactions support reaction are needed to design footings loading or I am considering generated load because I need factor loads only. Okay, so node number one load is 107 kilonewton, node number two load is 337 kilonewton, node number three load is 228 kilonewton. This is all you can check. You one can even copy this, select this one, control C, and you can transfer this data to Excel sheet. Select this one, control V here. If you do wrap text here, you can see these are your PU, these are your node numbers for load combination case 3. Load combin the load case number 3. Load case number 3 is a generated load. See here, go to modeling, general loads and definition. See here, load case number is generated Indian code. Generated Indian code is nothing but 1.5 times of load 1, 1.5 times of load 2. That is nothing but factor load. So load case number 3. These are your PU value. Using this PU value, we will be designing the foundations. 